And welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're going to do something a little bit different yet again. We're going to head up to 7,500 feet at Paro Airport in the beautiful Bhutan. One of the, uh, well, regarded as the happiest country in the world. So we'll jump into the Baron again. Now, hang around to the end, guys, because what we're going to do here is because I can't actually and do what I wanted to do is just do the flight in. I've had to fly out first and then we're going to come back in and see why this is one of the most difficult airports in the world to land at. Now what we're going to do later is we're going to do it in real world weather, what it was at the time that I did the second flight and we're just going to do, uh, just going to show you the landing to that because I tell you it does make a lot of difference. You're flying down the valleys here in the, uh, in the beautiful Baron 58 and uh, it doesn't look so bad but in Bhutan there are only 12 pilots allowed to fly commercial aircraft into this airport and for good reason they come doing what jet fighter pilots would be doing and that's cruising down the valley so let's get up and, uh, and I'm really enjoying this Baron too I gotta tell you it's a lot of fun to fly so let's get it up in the air it takes a little bit more time uh, the air's a little thin at seven and a half thousand I know just like I used to live at seven and a half thousand feet up in the mountains and uh, yeah it uh, takes a little while to get used to when you've been away on holidays and come back but it does make a big difference when you head up to ten thousand feet which was something I was also able to do I could drive to ten thousand feet where I used to live and it was um, it was a challenge just walking around the car park. So I, I did want to do some ortho scenery for this, but the hill over to the right there as we come out doesn't look great as the wheels retract back into the wings there. Uh, and the hill over the back you see there turned out white with the ortho. There's some obviously some faults in the data, so I uh, I chose just to stay with the default scenery today and let us uh, let us do that. But it's not bad scenery, so the flight is actually coming in from, well, directly ahead, but they actually fly down a little bit further to the left and follow that water, follow that river down, and they don't actually pop over the top as we're doing here. But we're going to turn around, I'm not going too far, and then we will turn around and come back in and make a landing at this, uh, in this really unusual airport, really. Now, this would be tremendously difficult if you had a lot more cloud or you had uh, rain or even at night I think it would be a, a real challenge so if you're looking for somewhere really different to go and land your aircraft maybe start a flight from the capital city if you have a little bit more time and fly your way up here to uh, to Paro and give it a try there are plenty of videos out and available uh, of uh, real world pilots coming into this there's uh, quite a good one I've watched a couple of times and uh, the guy was fortunate enough the gentleman making the video was fortunate enough to be able to come into the uh, the front cockpit of the airliner and uh, obviously not too worried about him blowing the place up so that's good and bringing getting a really good perspective on what it looks like from the cockpit view in it was either a 737 or maybe a, a small Boeing an engine it was uh, but it was really interesting to see and you don't normally see that sort of flying in an airliner you know actually because the thing that you get with this particular airport is that you don't see the airport until you're at 500 feet and you have to do a, a fairly fairly solid right turn to end up uh, lining up with the runway and uh, you'll see what happened to me when I tried to do that even in the Baron when there was a little bit of uh, weather and a bit of fog around later on so again hang around now if you've not subscribed guys and you do like the channel and you even if this is your first time please hit, feel free to hit that subscribe button love to have you on board you have videos out every week and I try to find something new so and always open to suggestions so fling me a suggestion if you've got something you'd like to see on the channel engines sound really good. Nice having a pair of them up there for a change. 
I think it's about time maybe we uh, we did a bit of a turnaround and uh, and head back, and then we'll see what the approach actually looks like. So I think we're heading back in. And the airliners are generally a little bit lower as than I am at this point. Watching the other uh, video of the real uh, landing in the airliner, they were down to about a thousand feet already and I think I'm still a little bit higher than that. Uh, we have a little bit more in the tolerance range, I think we're able to uh, to lose height a little bit quicker and get ourselves into the airport as needed. So, look at all the mountains, you know, it's pretty good scenery. The engines sound pretty good as well. It's uh, they've done a really good job of the uh, the engine package here, and the avionics all look a pretty nice. And you've got to get a little bit concerned about that hill looming up ahead. You better do something about that. Fairly tight turn, and then we're going to head down this valley. Now the airliner was over to the left and actually sort of followed this uh, this river down to get to the airport so we will get ourselves around there's a little bit of smoke there there's your particle uh, system and in, in action guys so around we go and we're gonna head back I imagine this would be pretty cool up here weather-wise. You know, I would imagine you'd find a lot of snow in here in the winter as well. I guess that's about the only thing that we lack, isn't it, guys? We lack the uh, the changing in weather for the next plane, but I guess, I guess we get so many other really good things that, like the flight models, which we all boast around when there's ever an argument out there on, uh, on Facebook or somewhere about who's got the best sim. Now, honestly, it doesn't matter. They're all pretty good. I just think personally this one's a little better. If you haven't flown X-Plane 11 and you're watching this and you're a P3D version 4 person, then uh, you've still got a pretty magnificent sim. They're all pretty good these days. Okay, heading down the valley. Over the ridge line. Just enjoy the view as we head in. I hope you guys are all having a really great weekend, wherever you are in the world. A big shout out to um, all you guys in the United States. I seem to have a lot of you guys watching the channel. Uh, in the UK, Thailand, there's a few in Russia and Greenland and all over the place. It's surprising how broad uh, a range of people there are out there that watches the channel. So thanks for coming along. So heading down the valley, got a bit of cloud out ahead of us. And it isn't too far to get back to uh, Palo Airport. Not seeing any traffic down on the road, so there's a bit of traffic running around when we get back to the airport. The airport looked really nice with the ortho. It's just unfortunate the rest of the, some of the other tile was uh, was faulty. And I did do it twice, and uh, yeah, I still played up. So I thought, well, that'll do. We'll leave it as it is as we get back. So now we haven't got far to go. That ridge you can see just. To the left is uh, is where the airport is, just around the corner. 
but as you can see you've got absolutely no idea where it is if you haven't flown there before and as the airliner flew fairly fairly close really to that left ridge line we've stayed a little bit more central we have a bit more room to do that we've got the gear down we've got the flaps down and ready to come in now that ridge as it tapers down there directly ahead is where we need to be turning right and really just coming over the corner of that to line up with the center line of the runway Okay, getting ready, it's just going to be around to the right. But you can't see it, can you? There it is. You can just catch it there now. We'll bring the power back down. I'm going to get over the ridge between the trees nearly to get down onto the runway. Around we go, keeping the power up. This thing doesn't like to have the power come down. A little bit steep than you really want to make a final turn. Don't do it like that, guys, because that's where you fall into the ground. So, well, we got it lined up. We're over the trees and we're nearly home. And landing long. And it's, it's, it's long enough. It's not like some of the islands, island ones we did in the last video, which were only like 1,300 feet, so... An aeroplane like this is not too big, but the flying skill should have put us, we should have had it down up there on the numbers, shouldn't we? Right, sit down safely, which is good. Now the next one is, uh, have a look what it's like once you have a little bit of weather. So hang on to your hats, because we're about to do that. You've got a Spitfire over there ready to come out. Okay, ready to go. Here it comes. Now there's a bit of cloud, a bit of weather, and I've just, again, overturned it on the way in. And I'm well to the left of the runway. And about to head back in and touch down. But it isn't the best touchdown that you'd want, that's for sure. Here we go. And we got it lined up. <laughs> Uh, a little bit on the rough side. But I honestly didn't see the runway until we'd got right around the corner and then realised I was well to the left of centre. So I challenge you to get some real world weather, especially in the winter time, and uh, try landing at this great little airport. And so we'll taxi in, in, the, uh, in the better weather anyway, get ourselves parked up. So I hope you enjoyed that. That uh, was a lot of fun putting this together. They've done a lot of really great work with this airport. It's very well detailed. Lots of uh, aircraft, people around. There's a little bit of movement in the vehicle front, so that's good. And we're going to roll ourselves in here and uh, park the Baron. If you haven't spent any time in the Baron, guys, really recommend you get out and give it a bit of a a fly around it really handles nicely so there we are back at hello airport all done safe and sound even with a bit of a bounce here and there look at the modeling on that looks uh, looks pretty nice got the uh, the beige color scheme out there it's um, it's not too bad it's not as colorful as some of the other ones that we have available is it but right. And those engines just sound really nice. Textures, textures are really good. The uh, the cement that's there in front of us is good. The hills and the trees look really good in the background there. Not sure about the angle of the road there, but uh, can't have everything. There's a little bit of mist around, as you can see in the distance, so that's all pretty good. So, again, if you haven't subscribed and you like what you've seen here, have a tour around the, the channel. There's a about 140 videos on the channel at the moment. Have a wander through, have a look at those and see other things that we've done. You're looking to learn something, you want to do some ortho, you want to build some airports, or uh, there's the flight series if you want to learn, get the basics on real world flying, because I have been, oh, I am a real world pilot. I have done flying in the past, I haven't done any for a while now, but 
if you want a little bit of a perspective from uh, the real world side of things and bring that into your simming at home then you should be able to find some tips there on uh, in that little series I had a lot of fun doing that as well see the spits ready to go out in the back There's got to be some really good air, other dangerous airports. I think I need to have a look into. I'm sure New, Ze New Guinea will have quite a lot of different ones, and I'm going to search out some more interesting places for us to have a land at uh, again in the very near future. So until next time, thanks for joining me here at Let's Fly VFR for a bit of a fly around in the mountains, and I look forward to catching up with you again at a video very soon. Leave a comment. Like, subscribe, share. We'll catch you soon. Bye-bye.